Yom Tov, Chavari, I'm Stephen Badu. You're watching Israeli News Live, and you cannot help, friends, with all the news coming out about WikiLeaks, especially the CIA, if this is not part of a New World Order, and WikiLeaks may very well be at the heart of a New World Order, a global conspiracy, but yet in order to be able to shut down the internet for private use. I can think of no better way than the world to justify that the internet must be regulated when we have things like WikiLeaks releasing CIA sensitive documents. And I'm thinking that the New World Order is behind it. Let's take a look at some of the news that's coming out this morning. Great threat to global security. Russia urges U.S. to explain CIA hacking exposed by WikiLeaks. And by the way, right now, according to some of the Russian news that I've been reading this morning, the United States is in an uproar over this, and they are going to interrogate every single CIA, former CIA official, contractor CIA official that is related in the last few years. So it's not going to look pretty. But again, it's just too odd to me to see this type of information being leaked out and it not be part of a global initiative, a global purpose, driven purpose, no doubt, to bring about a new world order. And it's something that, you know, I, you didn't, I didn't think as much about this during the election uh, when Hillary Clinton and uh, her and, and Podesta and all their information was being leaked. But now that the CIA, all the information is being leaked there, this is clearly something much larger than just somebody leaking information. Because I can tell you right now, CIA would, will and are more than able to track down who's doing it and bring them to justice. But I don't think that's the purpose. You know, if anything, it'll probably be just a scapegoat. And the reason being is because they're looking to bring about a global new world order. I just saw a video that Paul Begley did. Uh, Pastor Begley was putting out a video about uh, troops that he saw himself sitting at a gas station inside of Southern Indiana and just huge numbers of military equipment, all sizes of military equipment on the move in the United States. Then people are reporting this all over the US, not to mention around the world. Uh, before I jump back into this, let me just share with you another one right here, and that's uh, China. Uh, already happened. Lorenzo published this article this morning from Chinese News, and it's actually on Chinese81.cn. Uh, uh, they're talking thousands of military equipment that is headed to West China there, and China's saying because there is concern that the region might try to be a breakaway region to declare independence because it is a uh, there are many Muslim terrorists living inside of the area of this country. But thousands of military vehicles? That sounds a bit large to me. President Xi is talking about making an iron wall to safeguard against the resistive uh, Xinjiang province of western China. M troops are being moved everywhere. Military escalation like never before. And then all of these leaks that are coming out on the internet, they're going to, they are doing this to justify to shut down the internet for private use. I really believe this is where it's coming down to. And why would they do that? Why would they want to do that? I think it's because the, the internet has become an incredible trove of information to reveal to the public the truth about a lot of things that people don't want you to know about. Let's also take a look as well. This here is on Russian news here. Uh, that is actually, I think this is rca.ru, uh, translated English, English here. The Kremlin reacted to the reports of CIA servers with the, with the name Pocket Putin. The Kremlin drew attention to the CIA's document published by WikiLeaks. Russian's President Press Secretary Dmitry Peskov said on the eve of information about the hidden CIA servers called Pocket Putin was published by WikiLeaks. And of course, this was a nickname that the CIA gave it for listening devices. They had five different programs in this uh, 
uh, Vault 7 Trove that have been released. And according to uh, Julian Assange, this is only 1% of what's coming out. It says, together with the entire world community, we paid attention to the published data. They deserve attention. We must take a closer look, said Peskov. According to him, Washington does not hide that it is listening to Russian officials, including Russian Ambassador to the United States, Sergei Kislak, so WikiLeaks can, cannot be opened. You can guess, consider Peskov. <clears throat> the fact that the CIA has five hidden listeners called Pocket Putin became known on March the 8th from a data published by WikiLeaks on March 7th. The organization began publishing data from the CIA's Cyber Intelligence Center in Langley. According to WikiLeaks, the project called Vault 7 will be the largest leak of confidential intelligence data. You know, this is what really gets me. The CIA has the most sophisticated intelligence in the world for gathering data. You don't think that they don't know who's leaking the information as long as it's been going on? Give me a break. They break into the cell phones, they break into everything, and even cell phones being used as weapons according to this leaked document. You don't think Russia's not concerned now about why some of their ambassadors just mysteriously died of a heart attack? I'm sure the technology definitely exists and maybe in smartphones as well. Going back to this one right here though, Maria Zakharova, who is the foreign ministry spokeswoman, uh, she says here, we'd, we'd really like the security services in Washington to respond fully and openly to the release documents with specific facts, and if this information is confirmed, then it poses a great threat to the world and international security. Zakharova said in a briefing on the Russian capital, Moscow occasionally receives information about the activities of the American special services, she pointed out. Previously, such reports were always confirmed, but always there, there are always attempts to retouch the information and remove it from the front pages, Zakharova said. In any case, almost every time this information was confirmed, the ministry spokeswoman woman said. On Tuesday, WikiLeaks released the first installment of the Vault 7 leak, revealing the scope of the CIA's hacking ca capabilities. Again, look at the wording that Maria Zakharova is saying here. They keep it off the front pages of the news when leaks pop out like this, but you're talking about endangering people's lives globally in an intelligence community. There's no telling what they might try to release next. I really cannot help but believe that this is an inside job, not just to release the information to show that there's some great person. This is to shut down your freedom to the internet. I think that's what's coming next. And not because you might find out what the next military move might be or give away that they got troop movement here or troop movement there. No, there's a lot more at stake than that. Why do you think that the U.S. military was uh, fighting the war in Iraq or even now boots on the ground inside of Syria? Which, by the way, according to President Bashar al-Assad on Sputnik News, which is just now breaking, Damascus did not consent to U.S. military presence in Mumbai, says President Bashar al-Assad. Why is the U.S. there? Why is Russia there? You have to understand, and I have a brother that was fighting in Iraq. One of the first things that they did in Iraq was to go to the museums to secure all the ancient documents that were there. They didn't go to the secret hideout to try to find uh, Saddam Hussein. They didn't even go for the chemical weapons or the supposed mass weapons of destruction. And neither did they do this in Syria. Why do you think that ISIS was there at Palmyra and other places, as they call Palmyra, the Pearl of the Desert, and destroying everything they possibly could? Why do you think in Mosul, which is the ancient city of Nineveh, why do you think that those artifacts were destroyed? There's a lot of hidden things written historically from our ancestors that they do not want the world to know about. It's just like the Ben Asher Codex that made its journey secretly in a washing machine from Syria to the Israel, but it didn't end up going to the 
uh, the Syrian Jewish community or the Aleppo Jewish community, it ended up disappearing thanks to the president of Israel at that time. And supposedly, four of those books ended up missing. That was interesting, wasn't it? Well, they claimed it was a fire that destroyed the pages. We'll later find out the experts say that's not true. Another interesting thing, the Dead Sea Scrolls. What about the Dead Sea Scrolls? You know, Rachel, uh, I think it's Elori, who is a professor in, at the university in Jerusalem there, she was on the Dead Sea Scrolls. She just wrote a book recently. Woman's not a Christian by no means, she's a Jewish woman. But she does allude to the fact that in the Dead Sea Scrolls, it clearly was a community that was believers of Yeshua as a Messiah. But I thought it was really interesting because she noted as well, modern day Christianity has drifted far from what was taught by them. She said, same way as Judaism have drifted far from what Moses originally taught. Isn't it interesting also that there are two books of Isaiah that were found in, what was that, Cave 11 or Cave 1, I forget which cave that was, where they found the great, as they call it, the great Isaiah scroll. She pointed out one of those scrolls had sig are meaningful differences than the other. What are they trying to hide? What do they not want to make it on the internet? I think there's a lot more at stake. And I think that WikiLeaks is only a plot to shut it all down. And this particular type of leak is what will justify it. The entire world will demand, every world leader will demand they shut the internet down for private use. I think it's coming. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.